Hello, in this Steam Deck Windows video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Steam controls so you can actually use them as a game controller. Because by default, I've got God of Wars, you know, just downloaded from the internet, it's not opened by Steam or anything. And as a result, it's trying to detect the game with a keyboard. And it's saying press E, which, uh, you know, I don't really have a button. I don't think I've got one mapped to E. So what do I do? There, you know, there's some basic navigation that I can do. So for example, let's have a go to change controls. You don't want to be messing with this, especially with a game like this that has built in game control. So I'm going to go out of this and show you how to set up SWICD, which is a Steam Deck game controller driver that basically maps your Steam controls as if it was an Xbox controller. So to do this is really, really simple. You want to open up your web browser. And obviously this assumes you've installed Windows 11. I'll have a video in link in the description to show you how to do that. Plus within that, you know, I do show you how to enable the keyboard as well, you know, just by touching it like so. Okay, and you just want to type in S W I C D, we got it there. And again, I'll provide the link to this GitHub page so you can access it. Scroll down, go to where it says installation. And there's eight, like seven steps. We only really need to deal with the first three for the most part. The other one we don't need. It's only need if you want to do mouse and keyboard emulation, but we're not fussed about that to be fair. And maybe on some older, you know, games that don't have game controller support, you might need that. So feel free to. In you know install it just click on each one of these your so this one will take you to a github page and you just scroll down just keep the latest version or use the latest version open click the exe it will start downloading for the redistributable just clicking it will download like so and with the steam windows controller driver you get taken to a github page you scroll down and then for this one, it seems like there's no exe there is, it's just in assets, it's collapsed. And you just press the exe, it will download. Okay, let's close this. Let me open up. So just go to your downloads directory, wherever that may be. For me, it's here. So you want to do it in the order that you downloaded it. So first, it's the VIG EM bus. You just double click it. Click next. And I'm just going to click modify because I've already got it installed. But yeah, you just go through the normal process, install it. When UAC pops up, you just click OK. And now click Finish. Now open the redistributable. And again, you'll have an install button, but uh, you just click the install button and it will be the same thing. That's it. And finally, open SWICD. Click Yes. Click Next. I agree. And I recommend a desktop shortcut, and the program for the shortcut is also useful as well. You can install it somewhere else, but I'm going to keep it as default. And that's it. If at any point you say you need to restart the computer, feel free to. I find you generally don't, but feel free to. I'm going to, that's it now. I'm going to close this down. Make sure it's not open. It is not. And now show you, if I just go to, we start, and I search for, not, not stargazing. <laughs> I want to search for game. If you type in game, Carney should come up to set up USB game controllers. And as you can see, there's no controller in here right now. If we double click this SWICD driver icon on the desktop, it will launch it up. It will take a few seconds. And then you'll notice a controller appears here that says Xbox 360. Uh, if this pops up just click off it and we don't need to deal with that and there we go it's detected if we click properties now and we click i'm pressing r2 l2 l1 r1 square you know x y the D pad analog sticks etc okay so you may notice if i click left and right it still you know does left and right as if you know it's triggering it you know the keyboard and we'll get onto that in a second but you know the key you know if i click in the keys work what's even you know really great about this the back button like l4 and l5 they work as well so 
if we just double click SWICD and it will tell you that the driver status is running if it says it isn't running then something's gone wrong just pop me a message on discord group or in the comments down below and we'll see what we can do and in button actions you can this is just optional you can add a button action and effectively like a macro with like a left control and some other button feel free to have a look at that i'm gonna click delete you want to go to settings you want to do start with windows and start minimized and that will just make sure it's always started again you can close it if you really want to and do, 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 do. obviously if there's some sort of application that you want to whitelist or blacklist feel free to select that and now on your profile you can add multiple profiles if you want to the controls honestly you can just leave as is you don't need to change stuff again i would say feel free to mess around with this if you want to but we don't need to now here is it's actually ready to go but you know this mouse movement if we click mouse movement enabled if we click that it's it's, it's kind of weird so when you click that it means it's disabled not enabled so whatever the writing says that's what it actually is now i can't move my mouse with the trackpad I can still you move it with the with the what's it called with the screen and i can do you know button disabled now with button disabled a being as enter and being as escape no longer are valid so it just means when you're in game you won't start doing stuff if you're pressing b for example and start triggering some sort of keyboard command and you know do haptic feedback enabled obviously bear in mind you enable move, mouse movement disabled and button disabled the only way of you have of navigating around steam deck is either using the touch screen which you still have which is fine or you can use an external keyboard mouse if you use an external keyboard mouse it does help a fair bit otherwise you can keep it enabled but like i say it can interfere on some games so i'm just going to click x yeah i want to save the configuration and you've got to make sure that it always still just stays in the bottom right there because i have found sometimes it doesn't so i'm going to navigate to my games directory and launch up god of war and show you the difference now I can skip any of this. Nope. And first of all, once it loads, we'll go to settings and you'll see a little difference. If we go to settings, you see that there's no change controls. If you go to view controls, there you go. It picks you up as an Xbox controller now, which is great. And if we go to continue, Again, I was going to show you the start bit of the game, just like a couple of seconds, and you'll see that instead of it, I think it was asking me to press E, it'd be more contextual to the controller that I've connected, which is an Xbox controller, so it'll actually show, I think, press B, so if I press B, oh, is this going towards the tree to give it a little, you know, TLC, I'll just pause that and that's it that's how you set up your steam deck controller on windows so you can use it on non steam games for example and if you have any questions like i said feel free to post on the discord group link in the description if you liked the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe and i'll see you soon bye bye